everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and checking out what's going on here my name is april i go by ruby rouge here on the youtubes this video is my project pan that i created to help me declutter my life just a little bit um how you guys know the struggle when you get down with that last little bit of product and you don't want to use it anymore because you're saving it for something but basically it ends up just sitting there way past its usefulness yeah, that's one of my biggest problems. I created this project to help me solve it. Um, it's about just consistently making progress, keeping things coming out, finishing up the last little bits. So every month or two, I pick four products that I'm pretty sure I could use up or finish off in one month's time. Lately, it's been about two months, and, and that's okay with me too. And I'm setting that goal. I also try to pick one product out and make a decision on whether I should try to keep it and use it or just pass it along. So it's sort of like a try me product. My last update was in February. Um, my last update was mid to late February, I believe. So a little more than a month this time. Um, let's so let's let's look at the products. What did I finish? Well, first off, we have the Sol de Janeiro. Sorry, I messed that all up. First up, we have this Sol de Janeiro uh, dry shampoo. I love the smell, but I don't love the product. It actually has like some oil in it, I think, which isn't, I, I got to looking. It's not unheard of. A lot, several of my dry shampoos actually do have a little bit of oil in it, which kind of makes sense. Um, but I feel like this has too much oil in it. It, it almost like my hair, it kind of makes it look cleaner for just a little, like a minute, but then it starts to feel like heavy and oily. I for and then on top of that I forgot that I was trying to use it up um, so I put it back in the cabinet and forgot about it and so I used it a couple times but there's still I mean probably about that much we're, we're filling about that much in the bottle so there's still some usage left in that one so that one's staying in then I brought in this random foot mask it's the Purifying Charcoal Gentle Peeling Foot Mask. I got this. It's from K Aesthetics. I got this from Kohl's, but this was before my Kohl's turned into a Sephora, so I'm not sure if they still carry this. Um, well, you know. You know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> I always wanted to try one of these peeling foot masks, but I had, like, this kind of weird fear or, like, hesit hesitancy about using it. Um... But this, it was kind of weird. So first off, it really, it took several weeks for my feet to peel. I, I honestly, I thought it was going to be like that day or the next day. I didn't realize it would be like a couple weeks later. And I was like, hey, what's going on with my feet? Um, so yeah, it, it was a little bit weird. But, and so honestly, I didn't think for about a week and a half, I think, I didn't even think they were going to peel, but that my feet did feel very, very soft. And honestly, they felt very soft up until like this week. So it was like six weeks. Um, I would definitely recommend this, and it's definitely something I would use again. But the product that I'm bringing in for that one is this Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast Body Spray. It's one of the little mini carry-around ones. This was in a project last year. Um, I didn't finish it, and here it is five months later with barely anything in it. We're still at the same line that we were when I stopped last year. I had, I think I've used it like twice maybe since, so I would like to finish this off and get it out. So next I have this Bacuccio Serum. I did finish this. It was fine. I didn't notice anything amazing, but I did kind of like it. Uh, it gave me a little bit of moisture. It wasn't irritating. I would be open to trying this again. I, I wish I would have just been a little more planned in my usage and paid attention to its impacts. But honestly, I just wanted to get it out. Um, it was nice though. I enjoyed it. I wanted to bring in another skincare item because I have so many skincare items that I need to get through. Uh, da, 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 da. This is my oldest skincare item in my Peels Masks Scrubs category. This is the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. I first put this in a project uh, 10 uses last year, and I think maybe, I don't remember. There might have been a deck of panning, deck of panning project last year. Um, and then I just continued using it. I, I'm ready for it to be gone. It's been in my shower for over a year now. And although I wouldn't, I, and although I do consider it very pleasant to use, I don't think it's an important part of my skincare routine. I don't think it really adds anything I don't think it really adds any value and it's just kind of taking up space in my shower that I really don't have. Next up, 
This one's probably my most exciting. I'm really excited about this one. This is the pure foundation that I had to potted. Do, 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 do. Empty. Let's see one of you there. And then I'll show you the pot. Do, 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 do. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. So that's my pure foundation that I had depotted and it's done and I'm so glad that this is done. I have two backups of it and I've been trying to finish this one for almost two years now. COVID just messed like my whole like foundation usage up. Um, and then it, yeah. So anyways, but it's done and I'm actually, I'm going to bring in for this project, I want to bring in, um, oh, I don't know where the tube is. That's okay though. It looks just like this, just different color. Or no, this is actually the tube. Okay, anyways, I'm bringing in another color of that <laughs> foundation. Um, I just made a video of me mixing this uh, foundation together and kind of customizing it. I don't really think the video was all that necessary, but it was fun to make. And I don't know, I just was kind of felt like making a video that day. So if you're interested, it's still there if you want to watch it. Um, but I, I want to finish this Franken shade of the Pure Foundation and this VZ Art palette. Um, it's these two pans here, and I would like to finish that before the next update. Um, I just need to get this foundation out. It's not a great formulation for the summertime. It, it doesn't stand up to the humidity very well. It's very creamy, so the humidity kind of makes it melt. I, and I just ready, I need it to be gone. I need it to be gone. It's been open for two years and I have been using it for two years. So, all of that. And then lastly, well no, you know what? For just because for this month I just ran across this and I really, this is something else I wanted to put in here to finish. I'm like down here. This was in and out of projects last year. I kept losing it. I would like take it traveling with me or throw it in my bag and then I would lose track of it for a few months and I never could finish this off. There's just so very little. I really, really, really want to finish that off before the next update. So I'm putting that in the project as well. That's just going to be an extra product. And then lastly, we have the Try Me product. I really failed on this one, guys. I, I've just not been wearing eyeliner. This is the Inglot. Um, AMC eyeliner gel. Unfortunately, it's a really good eyeliner gel. I think I used it one time. Let, let me not tell you that it's a really good eyeliner gel. I enjoyed the time that I did use it. It seemed really nice. I want to try it a few more times before I move on to something else. I like to have a good idea of what kind of like, I, I really like to know my products. So that way when I'm on the fly and I'm in a hurry and I'm like, okay, I need a black eyeliner. I want to be able to just put that on and trust that it's going to wear very well all day long. I want to get to know this eyeliner um, so I can put it back in the drawer and and maybe use it sometimes. I don't know. But anyways, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. That's all the products I have for today. Thanks for stopping by. I hope that you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.